Lesson three is going to talk about a prime number and a composite number. So it tells us that a prime number only has two factors, one in itself. When you model a prime number using an array, you can make only one rectangular shape. A composite number has more than two factors. The number six is composite because it has more than two factors. With six blocks, you can make two different rectangular arrays. So we know that two times three is six. So here is my array for two times three. I have two going down and three going across. And here is my array for one times six. And on the try this, they gave an example. It says show that each number is composite. Remember a composite number has more than two factors. And draw two different rectangular arrays with the given number of squares. So um, for the number nine, we could do one times nine equals nine. Or I also know that three is a factor of nine and three times three equals nine. And this one would be an example of that array. Back and look at the definition. A prime number only has one factor, one in itself, and a composite number has more than two. So on one, two, and three, they want us to uh, show an example of an array with that number. So the number 16, uh, let's think of the factors for 16. So I know that two times eight is 16, but I also know that four times four is 16. So my array could model either one of these problems, okay? So my array, I'm gonna have four going across and four going down. And then you would fill in the squares So there's my array for four times four. Number two, uh, the number 10. I know that one times 10 equals 10, but I also know that two times 10, I'm sorry, two times five equals 10. Okay, so my array could be 10 squares going across, or I could also have two squares going down and five going across, and I would fill in my squares, and I should have 10 squares all together. Number three, the number 20, uh, factors of 20. I know that one times 20 equals 20. I know that 2 times 10 equals 20. And we also have 4 times 5 equals 20. So you could draw an array for any one of these problems. Number 4, it says find the prime numbers. For each number, tell if it is prime or composite. This is where you could go factors. So a factor chart would be helpful here. And I will post a factor chart on your Canvas page. So 21, how many factors does 21 have? So I'm gonna think to myself, one times 21 is 21, but seven times three is also 21. So 21 would be a composite number. Uh, number six, the number 23. I know that one times 23 is 23, but I know from looking at a factor chart that 23 does not have any other factors, just one in itself. So 23 is, a, is an example of a prime number. Okay, number eight, the number 27. I know that one times 27 is 27, 
but I also know that nine times three is 27. So 27 would be a composite number. It has more than one factor. So if it has more than one factor, it's a composite number. If it just has the factor one in itself, it is a prime number. On the reflect, it says list all factors of eight. Again, your factor chart will be helpful here. So I know that one and eight are factors of eight, and I know that two and four are factors of eight. Two times four is eight. Then they wanna know which factors of eight are prime. So the number one, that is not going to be prime. One would be composite because it only has one factor. And eight and four, those both have other factors. So those would be composite. So that leaves two as the only prime. We're not gonna count one there, okay? It says use only prime numbers, write a multiplication sentence that equals eight. So if I'm only using prime numbers, that means I'm only using the number two and we need to equal eight. Well, two times two, I know that equals four and times two again, that's going to equal eight. All right, here it says every whole number can be written as a product of factors. We're gonna talk about factors here. Some numbers can be written as products of different factors. The number two has one set of factors. So one and two are a set of factors for the number two. But the number 16 has three different factor pairs. So one times 16 is 16, four times four is 16, and two times eight is 16. So those are called factor pairs. So we are gonna find a factor pair for each number, but we're not gonna use the number one as a factor. So the number 10, again, use your factor chart for help, okay? The number 10, I'm not gonna do one and 10, I know that five and two are factors of 10, five times two. The number 18, I know that 18 has multiple factors. I know that two times nine is 18, and I know that three times six equals 18. The number 25, I know has five and five as factors. Five times five is 25. The next part says rewrite numbers using factor pairs. Again, we're not gonna use the number one as a factor. So we're gonna write 27 as a product of two numbers. So when it says um, 27 as a product, that means that 27 is going to be our answer. Okay, so think, what times what equals 27? And we're, we can't use one. So I know that nine times three equals 27. Then it says, can you write 27 as a product a different way without using one? And I'm gonna say no here um, because three and nine are the only factor pairs. So we cannot write that another way. Number six, write 32 as a product of two numbers. So 32 is going to be my answer here. So use your factor chart or think to yourself, what times what equals 32? And I know that four times eight equals 32. And then number seven says, find a way to write 32 as a product of three numbers. So now they want us to use three numbers in our problem. 
okay? So I'm going to think, well, I know that 2 times 2 is 4, so 4 times 8. You can also check this in a calculator, see if 2 times 2 times 8 equals 32. Number eight says, find a way to write 32 as a product of four numbers. So now they want us to use four numbers to make 32. Again, a calculator would be helpful here. So I'm gonna start with two times two. I know that's four. Um, so let's do times two again, that would be eight. And then if we have eight, if we times that by four, that's gonna equal 32. Now number nine, they want us to write 32 as a product with five numbers. So with five numbers, we're just going to do two times two five times. One, two, three, four, five, and that equals 32. Number 10, write 24 as a product using as many factors as possible. So again, 24 is our answer. So 2 times 2, I know that's 4, times 2 again would be 8, and I know that 8 times 3 is 24. Number 11 says, Angela is practicing skip counting. How many different ways can she skip count from 0 and say the number 40? Well, if you're going to skip count, we could skip count by twos, by fours, by fives, by eights, by ten. Tens would be easy. 10, 20, 30, 40. Um, fives, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So you could skip count several different ways here. So we can count by twos. Um, let's count by fives. And we could also count by tens. All right, we are going to skip the reflect on this one.